Parts of this futuristic complex in the southern Spanish town of Valencia are made of a surprising new material which could earn its creator a coveted prize. The City of Arts and Sciences is a complex of modern buildings devoted to science and culture. It includes museums, concert halls and cultural centers. It was conceived by two Spanish architects of international prestige, Santiago Calatrava and Felix Candela. Among the buildings created by Candela is the Oceanographic Park. Its aquarium contains the equivalent of 15 Olympic swimming pools. It is one of the biggest in Europe. Behind me is one of the buildings of the Oceanographic Complex in Valencia. This futuristic building was completed in 2003. This particular building is a cross-vault system made of eight symmetrical lobes. The challenge was to create a building that would be both light and resistant. So how did the architects make sure this thin structure would resist the test of time? By using a very special kind of concrete. Belgian inventor Anne Lambrechts is behind this new invention. She works for a company specialized in steel wires. This magnificent shell structure has a thickness underneath of only 12 cm and the thickness goes down up to 6 cm in the top. With traditional reinforcement this would have meant a thickness which is at least double. And you know why? There is a little secret inside. Steel fibers. They um, are made with uh, hooks, hooks that are flattened at certain places and not flattened at other places. These steel wires are mixed in with concrete before building starts. The hook-shaped ends provide anchorage to the concrete, resulting in a more stable structure. It's a much easier and quicker process than the old, heavy reinforcement structures. The concrete is then sprayed over the building instead of being poured onto it. This new material increases the concrete's bending strength by one-third, allowing architects to design more daring projects. If you look closely at the walls of the building, you can see small bits of steel fiber sticking out. Steel fibers have the advantage that you can add them together with a concrete mix. So it's kind of pre-mixed type of reinforcement, whereas for classical reinforcement, you need to install the reinforcement prior to the pouring of the concrete. Contractors can decrease construction time, increase productivity, and uh, this can lead to an overall reduction of cost. For her invention, Anne Lambrecht is up for the European Inventor Award 2011, organized by the European Commission and the European Patent Office. The word inventor has a magical ring to it. What does it mean to you to be the first to think of something like this, to invent something like this? I've always been intrigued by people who actually help to shape the new, a new world, help to shape a future, and uh, I think uh, that is what drives me. Lambrecht's steel elements have opened up a world of new architectural possibilities by improving the bending strength of concrete structures. It's hoped this invention will further push back the boundaries of architectural creativity in the future.